Hey everybody, Tiger Metalhead Weatherman here. Hopefully everyone's doing well on this Wednesday evening here. It's been a rather busy day. It's mostly in regards to uh, changes more so than anything else. As far as severe weather reports have been kind of on the uh, down low here. In fact, there haven't been any reports received at all. Although there were a few severe thunderstorm warning and tornado warnings earlier over here towards Louisiana, Mississippi. But looks like nothing's come of that right now. The main topic has been flash flooding, though. There are a multitude of flash flood watches, flash flood warnings, and also flood watches and flood advisories around the southeast here. I mean, just basically looking at this uh, plume of moisture right here that's coming from the Gulf and just continuing to go over the same areas. Yeah, that's pretty much to be expected at this point. But really the big topic and what I'm really wanting to harp on right now is what's ahead here with Saturday, but we'll get into that in just a second. There is a marginal risk for severe weather tomorrow. And this for right now is remaining a marginal risk, but I would not be surprised at all if we end up seeing a slight risk issued a little bit further off to the south here, particularly across this region closer to the Gulf here. Not my best drawing here, but this is kind of giving you a rough idea of the area that I have in particular that I'm uh, particularly interested in at this point. So let's go ahead and take a look at the current hazard risk right now. We have currently a 2% tornado threat encompassing that entire marginal risk. Like I said, areas further to the south, I think there's a better chance of maybe a tornado or two developing. Wind threat also will be, I think, would also increase just slightly with that as well. Hail threat right now is probably going to remain below 5%, so we're not probably we're probably not going to see an area with that. If one does pop up, I do expect to be a little bit further off to the west here, but I don't think lapse rates are going to be really ideal for any sort of hail event of any kind here. And then once we get towards day three, of course, no severe right now, which will be a welcome break. But then the big kahuna here that we'll be talking about is day four. Day four, we have a very rare extended ri uh, slight risk here. You normally don't see the Storm Prediction Center issue these out in advance during this time of year in particular. That's usually the things we get towards February and March in particular. But if you're anywhere from Atlanta to Birmingham to Columbus to Dothan here in areas in between, even further off, let's say even towards Montgomery and other areas off to the west, maybe towards central Birmingham, definitely need to be on the lookout for severe weather here. I'm concerned about this in particular because I do think this could be a situation where we could see both damaging winds and tornadoes. There's a couple of things in particular that I'm keeping an extra close eye on There's really going to be more so the convective mode. We can get some prefrontal storms. I definitely think this could potentially be an outbreak, but there's still a lot of uncertainty with that. We'll really get a better look at that as we get into the range of the convective models, which will be tomorrow. But if we go through our um, excessive rainfall outlook here, you can see currently today we had the uh, moderate risk here. And the thing to make note of with this moderate risk is this actually was even smaller than what it is now and affected only 3 million people. That's doubled in size and in impact course given like like i said before with the amount of moisture we have here that's pretty much a given at this point if we go to day two we still have a slight risk for right now but i do expect that we will see a moderate risk issued pretty much a little bit further off to the east here and probably encompassing more of southern mississippi maybe southern and maybe even central alabama here as we go through the day tomorrow now, there's a couple of things that I've noticed here as we go towards days three, four, and five, we do start to see the drop by. Day five, I do think the storm system itself will be out here. Day three, however, I would not be surprised if we see an expansion of this slight risk area. Not too sure about the moderate risk at this point, but definitely going to be paying close attention to that as well. And then if you look over here towards Oklahoma City right now, that's a marginal risk, but that's important because that'll be this next storm system that will cause that severe weather threat for that day four slight risk. So we'll kind of look at the immediate term right now, and we'll be looking at the NAM3 kilometers to start out with. 
Now there is something that I've made note of when I looked at this model before making this video is the fact that this is uh, not really picking up on the moisture in the same regard as some of the other models here. So don't let this fool you. This is giving you just kind of a rough sketch of what we could be seeing throughout the day tomorrow, maybe even into Friday here. Concern really lies with this uh, line of storms that will try to develop here. I think that's where our severe, severe weather threat will exist. And maybe a couple of uh, discrete storms trying to develop over here in the early afternoon towards southern Alabama. So with that being said, always have to look, be on the lookout for maybe some isolated damaging wind gusts. Maybe a tornado or two is possible with this setup. And then, of course, as we go towards Friday and into Saturday, we'll get to see a little bit of a refiring of storms here. But maybe not as widespread in coverage here wouldn't be surprised if a marginal risk does get issued a little bit further towards the gulf coast but really this is all going to be setting the stage for this storm system right here which is going to be our next troublemaker here for the southeast in regards to severe weather so we'll go ahead and switch over to some model data where we are in range here so what, that we could take a look at saturday here this is looking at the mid to upper level winds here on our uh, map here. So this is our current storm system that's rolling out right now. So things start to slow down just a little bit on Friday, but we still continue to see that uh, Gulf of Mexico moisture being pulled a little bit further up to the north here. And like I said, this is going to really set that stage for the Saturday setup. You can see that low really starting to develop and kind of ramp up here even try to take a little bit more of a semi-negative tilt here and with that in mind we uh, have to look out for this area a little bit further out ahead of this uh, little jet streak that's trying to develop here I don't think it'll quite get to that point here but fact in the matter is there's a point of convergence and divergence here and this is going to be most likely where our battle zone ends up being the question will be can we get any sort of storm development to fire out ahead of that front if that ends up being the case we could end up getting a lot more significant severe weather out of this so this is pretty much what we're looking at right now with our setup here hence why the slight risk is possible gfs does paint a slightly different picture with this however if we look at the gfs here here's the current system moving out here's our new system moving in slightly stronger look here and it's also got that trough a little bit further to the north so as a result this area of convergence and divergence also is to the north here so this could also include atlanta now with the euro we're kind of looking like we might be further to the south here but areas like this are a point of interest to me for sure and then of course there's a couple other areas here's a short wave here maybe to go along with that to help assist with severe weather and this could be a longer duration event as well but we'll have to like i said there's still a lot of uncertainty and then on top of that we're not, we're not even in range of the convective models yet so a lot of room for change here for sure so if we were to go ahead and look at what precipitation map may look like we kind of already went over what was to be expected over the next couple of days here the euro is kind of giving a better picture of what the moisture could be like over the course of the next couple of days more showers and thunderstorms being shown on here and then on top of that much more heavier rain than what's being depicted even on here if i'm being honest is possible this ends up being the scenario that that would actually be a little bit more ideal because obviously we don't want to see too much in the way of flooding but here's friday and like i said i do think that there's a chance for severe weather right now it's not going to be quite as impressive let's say tomorrow setup but do need to be on the watch at the very least here that moisture is going to hang around and then our next system is going to come in here squall line tries to develop but like i said really the scenario that we need to be looking for is these discrete storms to be forming out ahead of that main line i think if that ends up playing out we could be dealing with a few more tornadoes possible there like i said it's kind of up kind of up in the air at this point but i am concerned about a flood threat as well maybe a little further to the south but i do think further up north maybe through atlanta and getting towards some of the uh southern tip of the appalachians here we might need to be on the lookout for that as well so we see this storm system roll off to the north here after that point and maybe some winter weather will be possible towards the end of this weekend 
it's the GFS kind of showing a similar picture at this point and we'll go ahead and scroll this forward here here's our next storm system here's our current storm system very good I think this is as probably the better depiction of the uh, moisture shield in the uh, short term here but you know these operational models aren't always the best with picking up on that but here is the Saturday setup here and this mainly has the look of a linear event at this point, or what's called a mesoscale convective system, also known as an MCS. With this MCS, though, I think the threat of some heavy rain is going to be the heightened threat alongside maybe occasionally a damaging wind gust or a tornado or two. So, like I said, have to be paying extra close attention to the weather on Saturday. By Saturday evening into Sunday, this is out of here, and then of course the threat eventually shifts towards the northeast, where we could be looking at some potential snowfall, albeit a very short-lived event, nonetheless. That being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a quick little update here. We'll get a little bit more in depth tomorrow with things because I'm pretty sure we'll see some more changes, especially with that setup now coming into the day three range here. But I hope to see you guys soon. Until then, it's been Tire Metalhead Weatherman. You guys take care. Have an awesome evening, and I'll see you next time.